What's up, guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Mo. Uh, so happy to be here with you guys this weekend. We are on our Town Hall 8 right now doing a Let's Clash. Uh, I haven't uploaded a Let's Clash video in like a week or so. Um, that was just a text from my sister. <laughs> Um, I need to get an iPad and play on it and record that way so that I don't get all these text messages But we're going to be trying to upgrade a couple of things in this video So the first I want to upgrade is going to be this wizard tower up here so that we can get all of them uh, to the same level so they're uh, two at level five one at level four right now so we can get that thing up and um, That is going to make a big difference. It's going to give us four more damage per second and uh, the wizards attack it a little over a second per shot. So um, per uh, per shot from them is going to be more than four damage. So uh, that should help out a lot. We're also going to, I really want to be able to upgrade my king to level two. He's level one. I haven't really done that much with Dark Elixir. So we only need 250 Dark Elixir for that. So um, we're going to be looking for a base with some Dark Elixir on it. I am using a different strategy right now. I'm actually going to... Uh, go ahead and just finish all of these for you guys um, but the strategy that I want to use that I think is going to be fun is um, it's going to have a lot of goblins in it and some giants as distraction uh, we're going to try and go into one side of the base so we have uh, 60 archers 60 goblins 10 wall breakers and 12 giants I haven't tried this before I'm just kind of thinking of things uh, still love the wizarian attack use it all the time in fact I want to show you guys a replay from um, this morning, where is it? Maybe it was on my other account, but we can replay this one right here. Um, so, <clears throat> why did that one only have one wall breaker in it? Oh, I don't even think I finished. I didn't even finish using all my troops in this attack uh, because I just found this awesome base. You can see everything up here is completely full. Uh, so I take out that mortar right there, and then I save my other lightning spell. And um, I love finding bases like this. You don't even really need the Wazarian attack for this. I mean, if I just had a bunch of barbarians, it'd be fine. Um, so that's why I didn't use all of my troops. I had a couple wizards left over, but uh, that was a great, great find this morning. You can see that I get all the loot. None of it is in the storages whatsoever. Uh, all of it is in the mines and pumps on the outside. So uh, that was a great attack this morning. Love getting over 500,000. Uh, in resources in the morning, um, but you can go back in here and look and see that the uh, the Wazarian attack is working really well. There's another 200, 270. Um, I really, really like it. It's a lot of fun to use it. Uh, but yeah, today we're going to be doing a different uh, strategy. Uh, let's go ahead and upgrade this Wizard Tower right now, though, since we are uh, moving on up in this Less Class series, and then we also can research right now. Uh, we can resort. We can research the lightning spell or the healer. I haven't really been using the healers that much, um, but yeah, I might do archers or I might do wizards. I really want to do wizards, but I don't think I'll be able to <laughs> get 500,000 elixir in this video. So that might be saved for another one, um, or I could do two raids in this. I don't know. I have to check my time. I'm going to be heading to church in a little bit, but. I'm going to go ahead and attack on this and uh, see what kind of base I can find. Remember, I'm looking for about 250 Dark Elixir at least and um, a good amount of Elixir as well so that I can hopefully get those wizards up today. So um, I will go ahead and uh, leave you guys here for a couple seconds and I'll be back in a few, all right? All right, guys, we're going to attack this base. Uh, as you can see, his two pumps up here for Dark Elixir are done pumping, so that means they're full. Or at least they're as full as possible. Um, let's go ahead and we're going to attack from... Uh, oh, this is hard because those two mortars are right there next to that dark elixir. Um, but I really want to get my giants in there. So why don't we go ahead and just start taking off some of these... Picking off some of these buildings over here. They're not going to get messed up. And let's go ahead and drop off a couple of goblins up here as well. See, they can go after this dark elixir and we can see uh, what we're looking at when it comes to those pumps right there. Um... Now we're just going to go ahead and drop off our uh, giants in here and a couple of wall breakers. We are going to use, I'm going to use lightning spells right there on that mortar just to get that thing out of here. And then we're going to keep on uh, dropping in our wall breakers. Uh, so we got an okay amount of elixir or dark elixir from uh, those, what were they? <laughs> from those mines up there. Um, we're going to go ahead and send in our goblins right here as well. We have that heal spell in there to help out all of the troops. 
Um, not just the uh, not just the Giants, but the Goblins should be able to get in there as well. So you can see the Giants are still working their way around. I really want to try and get... Okay, good. So now the Goblins are going right there for that Dark Elixir, and that Mortar is still distracted by the Giants. So if we can get our Goblins right in here in this wall, uh, then we should be able to get a good amount of that Dark Elixir over there, uh, which obviously is, like I said earlier, what I'm looking for. So um, hopefully our, our Archers will come over here and take out a good amount of that. They're getting it. There we go. So we have enough Dark Elixir now for... Uh, the king to upgrade which is awesome. I don't think we're gonna get that much elixir out of this um, but that's okay because the main goal of this was to get enough dark elixir um, to to upgrade the king so we're actually going to um, in this I don't even know how much loot I got entirely out of that but again I was mainly going for the dark elixir so 140,000 gold isn't bad uh, 55,000 elixir isn't going to help out with the wizards, but we are going to be able to go back and upgrade our king, which is exactly what I wanted to do. So we're going to go ahead and upgrade him. He's going to be going to level two. Uh, <laughs> oh, a little level two. So that's not that um, That's not that big of an upgrade, but once I get up to level five with him, it's going to be great because then I'll have that. Um, I'll have the hero ability that he has. So we're going to go ahead and train up some more uh, wizarian attacks and see if I can't, or if I can <laughs> get some uh, good elixir throughout the rest of the day and then maybe I'll tweet out at you guys or something if I'm able to upgrade the wizards uh, so yeah if you guys don't follow me on Twitter go ahead and do that it's molt underscore coc uh, if you need to find me any other way uh, Clash of Clans follows me and some other people do so uh, go ahead and check that out and we are going to finish filling in this army camp right here uh, one two and we're good right there with the wizarian attack Again, um, I will probably want to. Um, I'll probably want to do the wizards. That last attack wasn't really that efficient at all uh, when it comes to the elixir. But I did get the dark elixir, like I said. So um, also, you guys can tweet at me if you want to once you see this. If you think I should upgrade something else, like the healers or the lightning spell, since I do use lightning spells in practically every attack. Um, but I'm thinking the wizards going to be the way to go because they do 45 more damage per second. Um, and they're going to be at this next level until uh, until Town Hall 10. So, you know, I, that, that might be the best choice, especially, like I said, I'm doing Wizarian a lot. So, uh, But anyways, guys, I hope you all enjoyed your weekend. I definitely did. I've uh, been having a lot of fun hanging out. Um, the weather's getting really nice, and I love that. But anyways, thank you so much for watching, guys. I really do appreciate the support. Um, love talking to you guys. Tweet at me, whatever. Comment in the videos. You guys rock, and as always, make sure you keep calm and clash on for me, right? See you guys later.